to possibly identify scenarios, trades for today, for short term and for um, swing trading as well. We're going to start with pound, um, a pound dollar. Guys, I'm long from right about here, 55.31. Right now I see price at 55.34, so I just wanted to let you know the position in the market right now. I'll get to why I'm actually long at this point. Um, I had an entry um, earlier at uh, 55.60, but it was very, very small. I entered now with a normal, uh, regular position at uh, 5.531. Uh, we'll see how it goes. And what follows, I'll explain um, uh, the setup. It will become clear. All right, we're looking uh, first at pound dollar, a quick uh, look at the um, longer term uh, picture, okay? Now this was the trend that we were trying to identify for some time while the market was inside this range. And we now have actually a a break of this supporting trend line and the tendency towards the downside. This move right here also recovered, uh, retraced more than 75%. It's actually very close to 100%. So I'm looking at a longer term bearish um, move. The rainbow is also confirming that market dropped, pulled back from this horizontal level. I'll call this a key level for midterm, uh, the 153 area. Okay, a triple bottom at this point. It pulled back towards the rainbow. It's actually at the um, confluence of the moving averages right next to the 200 moving averages. And it started moving down, okay, slowly with uh, the candle from two weeks back uh, closing outside of the rainbow. So reaffirming the bearish trend. Last week's candle slightly, uh, it's actually a, a bullish candle that might indicate um, more consolidation within this area. But to see uh, things from that perspective, we'll have to zoom in on a smaller chart. As far as this chart is concerned, I would say we are in a bearish trend longer term with um, 159, 160 as a barrier, but the absolute barrier is beyond the 78% of this segment. Okay? Um, that's 60.63, so price shouldn't reach up at approximately 162. I'm usually using the uh, halfway between 78% and 100%. I'm talking now long term. So that means for entries, um, aggressive entries that are not confirmed by a breach of 153, you'll have to be as close as possible to the top of the rainbow, and stop should be somewhere in the 162 area. That's about um, yeah, 700 pips from where we are now. Okay, long term, that it's not so much, but actually, uh, if you're entering at 156 instead of 153, uh, 155, 154, that can make uh, quite a lot of a difference from a risk reward perspective. All right, just a quick, um, short uh, presentation of the long term situation for those of you who are trading with that um, sort of. Uh, charts with that um, perspective in mind. I think for shorter term uh, trading, the one what, what we uh, most of us uh, are trading, uh, we will have to look on daily and lower. Okay. And there's something quite interesting going on. Um, you'll be surprised maybe uh, to hear that I'm going long uh, right now. The market has been going down today, but it hasn't dropped that much. Actually, it's only 50 pips from the top, from the high of the day. Um, I have this um, not really short term perspective is a little bit more than short term, but I wouldn't say mid term. Uh, I think you will see it um, in just a moment when I reach the hourly chart. Uh, let's see what we have on the daily. Now this is the larger direction, and I would expect this retracement to hit somewhere back towards 159 based on the fact that the current wave is an ABC that looks complete. I'm saying it looks complete. Uh, that's all I can say right now. It's not confirmed complete. And this last wave, okay, I'm always watching the 78%. And last week, um, actually, I was ready 
uh, to to take uh, out my uh, shorts. When the market approached the 78%, even though it was quite um, quite strong, the price action at that point, okay, and it looks very bearish, but I do not want to short against the 78% or to buy against uh, the 78% right here. I don't uh, like doing that because I know that risk reward wise it's not too uh, favorable. Okay. Bottom line is it stopped precisely at this 78%, but I wouldn't have known that until I uh, I saw this candle, this long white candle right here, Friday's price action, and this is what I'm basing the current long trade on. Uh, still, this chart is a bit too big. I just wanted to present the overall picture, still a longer term, but I just um, it just gives a better perspective. This chart. Now this will be the formation I'm I'm watching. Okay, the retracement wave. Okay, which right now, in my opinion, has a higher probability of seeing a 159 or at least a retest of 158 before dropping again. Remember, this is not long term. Long term remains bearish. So, if you are trading long term with this sort of uh, of perspective, you'll probably either short at 153 or short higher around 158 up to 159 okay still short at all these levels if you are in long term because in that case you can afford a stop around 162 and you should afford a stop that large 300 pips long term is no big deal that's definitely a, a reasonable stop for a long term position all right but if this thing, if this formation doesn't um, doesn't play the way um, it's um, mentioned here, then we shouldn't see any move beyond the 78% of this way. 